I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to be nice. The Bible talks about in Ephesians, it says, be kind to one another. Y'all, we got to learn to love on one another. See you watching this video? I love you. Like, I'm for real. I really do love you. We have to learn to love on people, y'all. We got to learn to meet people where they at. Many people will ask the question, they'll say, how am I supposed to share the gospel to somebody? I'm not a, I'm not a people person. Like, what does that look like for me? Start by just loving on people. Start by holding the door for somebody. I'm trying to tell you, God presents opportunities. You will be surprised. If you just get caught being nice, opportunity going to find you. Because people love a, a nice and loving person. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Many people, they don't want to memorize that scripture. Because they like me. I ain't going ain't to no, love nobody like me. You know the worldly mentality we all grew up with. We learned from the world. You feel me? Get all you can and can all you get. Stand on the top and let the rest of the world rot. Every man for himself. You know how it is in the world. It's a dog eat dog world. But listen to me. Oh man, when it comes to the kingdom, when it comes to following Jesus, instead of trying to learn so much, we got to learn to unlearn some stuff. You got to unpack the backpack on your back. You got books, all this stuff, all, all information you learn from the world. You got to release that stuff and say, you know what? I'm no longer living like that. I mean, I could. But it ain't worth it. Why is that, Demarcus? Eternity's at stake. <laughs> Many people say, when I'm going to live my best life, when I, you know, you know, I, you know, I want to live my best life. I want to do that. Listen to me. Your best life is your next life. <laughs> and that's eternity. <laughs> you feel me? That don't mean you got to settle for crumbs right here on earth. I ain't telling you that, but I'm telling you, yo, no, no matter how good you get in this life, no matter how good it is for you, your best life is going to be your next life e in eternity with the king of kings. You feel me? Yeah. In eternity with the king of kings. You got to learn to love on people, though, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell I'm trying to tell you God going to use you but see if you walk around with an attitude <laughs> Don't nobody want to hear what you got to say man Ain't nobody ain't ain't nobody trying to hear no scripture you talking about if you walk around here with an attitude See you got to have that attitude of gratitude because see that determines your altitude in terms of how high you go with the stickiness Now you may say hey DeMarcus what is the stickiness See, if you want to attract bees, you got to be like honey, man. You feel me? You got to be like honey. You got to show God's love. You'll be surprised who God going to send in your path. Because, see, you want God to be able to trust you with people, man. But, but, but see, you got to be nice. I'm not sure who this was for, but I'm just saying, I love you. Purpose in your heart to love people. If there's, if there's a number six right here. And you stand on that side of it and I, and I stay on this side. I see a six, but you see a nine. Who's right? None of us are right. We both some clowns. Let me tell you why. Because I see a six and a six is nothing but a nine turned upside down. So <laughs> we're both technically right from our perspective. And many people will agree over that just that simple situation. And they'll be at odds and ignore each other for years and say, man, forget you, man, forget you. Over a six and a nine? It's just a matter of perspective. How about I take the time to hear you out, my brother? I know life is hard. I know I, I know life has beaten you up. I know you have a lot of past trauma and a lot of past things that you're dealing with. So it really ain't about the six or about the nine. It just it just triggered a memory or an event. And, and, and you resulted to distancing yourself. But let me hear your perspective. Man, I grew up all around nines. You know, I've been seeing nines all my life. You know, this. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, understood, man. We can, we can, we can agree to disagree. I still love you, though. I'm still here from you. That's how you love on people, because these same people they go through different seasons and different storms in their life. And guess what? You that lighthouse. The Bible says, listen. You don't have to take a light to hide it under a bowl. No, you you put the the light on top of the stand. You are the light of the world. 
People need somebody to come to for prayer. People need somebody to come to for godly counsel, for advice. People need somebody to come to to accept Jesus and you can lead them right to him. But it starts with the love. Stop trying to be right all the time. Listen, I learned, man, look, <laughs> I ain't trying to be right. I'm trying to hear you out and tell you, hey, I love you anyway. That's what people want to hear because it's never about being right. See, sometimes you got to lose them little battles in order to win the war. We have the bigger things. We have the souls. And it starts with you being nice. I'm not sure who this message was for, but God put this on my heart. And I want to tell you, I love you. Hey, listen, if you're an unbeliever, if you're an atheist, any of those different categories, whatever you consider yourself as, you just say, you know what? I don't agree with it. I want to let you know something. I love you. And I appreciate you still taking the time to watch. All right. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to click that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I will be nice. Because that's right. You're going to be nice. <laughs> you're going to be nice. That's right. You're going to do it. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.